Good morning from the Alpine Lakes Wilderness, just east of Snoqualmie Pass. This is Steve with my hiking buddy Gino. Good morning. Today we're on the trail to Margaret Lake, one of our favorite hikes in the Alpine Lakes Wilderness. Actually, uh, I shouldn't say trail, Gino, because we're on an old logging road here that's been decommissioned. First mile, we go up this road to where the uh, trail picks up, and uh, then we take the trail up to a ridge top over the ridge and down to the lake. So. About 60 degrees this morning, a little bit of a breeze right now, which feels good, and uh, it's 6.30, so two cars in the parking lot ahead of us. One appeared to be an overnighter. The other one, I think, probably is someone ahead of us, but uh, we'll see. Anyway, one of our favorite hikes. Hope you like this one. Thanks for hiking with us. So you come up this uh, closed logging road for about, uh, I don't know, half, three quarters of a mile, and then on your left side, of the trail you're going to see this sign such as it is that sign it's a little staff in the ground and it points you toward the Margaret Lake Trail there's no other signs here so if you come up here just be aware of that and uh, I was telling Gino even though this road is fairly wide compared to a trail I'm breaking spider web after spider web so I'm guessing that uh, maybe there isn't somebody in front of us that both those cars might be overnighters so we'll see um, the first mile, Gino, is always the steepest on this one. That's for sure. And then uh, it lessens up. we got to climb to the ridge top. It's going to open up. We're going to have some views back toward Rainier. And, uh, boy, it's blue skies, sunshine, and a few clouds here and there. But it uh, should be some good views this morning. So we'll check in up the line. So as you climb up, you hit this uh, area that's been logged, and uh, the views start opening up. There's the lake next to I-90 down there. And uh, I'm going to move over here for a sec. Way off in the distance, let me zoom in. Look out there. That's Granite Mountain. And my eagle eyed buddy sees the lookout. But uh, like Gino said, this is really a fun part of the trail. We uh, open up a bit, we start having views like uh, over to the side here. But uh, further up, we're heading up this ridge and then up at the top uh, right before we get to the top we'll have some views back toward Rainier so we'll check in up there there's Mount Rainier off in the distance covered with some clouds chance of thunderstorms later today should have a better view as we go higher well we're closing on the ridge top and uh, there's Mount Rainier uh, we've had one couple just pass us they're on their way to Mount Margaret, which we may or may not go to today. We'll see. But, uh, boy, stopping here for a second, the bugs are swarming. So we got to get rolling, cross the ridge, and head down to the lake. And Gino has predicted. Gino, your prediction for the lake? Lots of bugs. Yeah, I think it's going to be right. Okay, we'll check in in a bit. So where I last filmed Mount Rainier, you enter the woods again and make a bunch of uh, long but gentle switchbacks up to the ridge top. That's what I'm on right now. The trail levels out as we head over from the uh, south side of the ridge to the north side. And you come here to a big trail intersection. Um, so that way is uh, to Mount Margaret and Lillian Lake. This way is to Margaret Lake. Here's the sign. So anyway, Kind of just a big open area here. But uh, that couple we saw earlier went this way. We're going this way. So we'll check in as we head down to Margaret Lake. Should be a pretty morning down there with the sun up. We're down in the lake basin, dropping down off that ridge on some steep, short switchbacks. And uh, unbelievable, mid-August with all the heat we've had this year, we still have a snow patch of about uh, four or five feet long here. Boy, it's ice. Anyway, something I never thought I'd see here in August with all the heat we've had. Well, we're about five minutes out from the lake. We'll check in when we get there. So we've come down that ridge on some short, steep switchbacks, and we're approaching the lake, and right before you get there is this nice little pond. And uh, Mount Margaret is up there and the bugs are swarming me, so I'm gonna keep moving here as we head toward the lake. Our first view of Margaret Lake. 
we got to descend, descend down this steep slope, so I'm going to put the camera away for a bit. A little before 8 o'clock, and we're at the glass smooth waters of Margaret Lake. And the bugs, Gino, that's one prediction I guess I wish you had gotten wrong. <laughs> it is buggy. Holy smokes, but a beautiful morning here. Mild temps, smooth water, lots of bugs. Mount Margaret is up that way, and we saw that couple that passed us earlier. They were going up there, so we've seen them. So, um, just kind of the lay of the land here. Just a beautiful morning here at Mount Mark, or excuse me, Margaret Lake. Okay, we're going to take a break, and it's going to be a quick one with the way the bugs are buzzing. And uh, we didn't see anybody camping. Usually the camp spot's right there as I'm shooting into the sun, so I'll stay shooting over this way. But uh, got to reapply some bug spray. Gino's already doing it here. You can hear it in the background, and uh, we're going to take a break. I'll pick up filming in a minute. Well, it's going to end up being a short stay for us at Margaret Lake. The bugs are horrendous. We uh, both applied bug spray here while we were taking a break. But uh, we are getting eaten alive. And uh, no one's camped here. So maybe those people went further down, you know, to Lake Lillian. Mm -hmm. But uh, just a beautiful morning. And uh, we saw that couple, like I said earlier, up at Mount Margaret. We've decided discretion is the better part of valor, and we're going to skip Mount Margaret today. It's a very steep climb up, which isn't too bad, but coming back down, uh, when we were coming down to the lake here, it's real slick with the, the ground so dry, a lot of dust and dirt and debris, and a uh, few uh, spots where we were slipping and sliding, and uh, the trail down from Mar Mar uh, Mount Margaret is about uh, twice as steep as is this and we don't want to take a tumble here it uh, it'll be there next time for us so we'll check in on the way out Gino I think I have seen a couple fish jumping out mm -hmm. there my brother should be here with his fly rod <laughs> okay we're gonna start the climb out of here we didn't stay too long but like I said we're just getting uh, eaten alive but uh, what a pretty morning here in the Alpine Lakes Wilderness just east of Snoqualmie Pass about four miles don't have to go far to find something like this in Washington State. Our last look at Margaret Lake as we head out of the lake basin. So I filmed this little pond on the way out to the lake and then uh, my sidekick who knows everything about Washington geography, <laughs> floral, fauna, he ident he's like John Audubon. My friend, what is the name of this lake? Lake Evane. Lake Evain. I never knew it had a name, and it is spring-fed, I believe yes, you said. It so it still has a lot of water in it. But uh, anyway, I didn't know that, so that's why I hike with him. Learn something every day. He's a good hiking partner, and uh, he's always knows everything about stuff on the trail, animals, flowers, everything. He even knows lake names that are obscure. Okay, we got to climb up to the ridge. We'll check in up there. So that climb out of the lake is steeper than uh, it seems, but uh, made it to the ridge top. We've got the couple that went up Mount Margaret right in front of us. Uh, she is actually from Italy visiting her cousin out here, but uh, so they went up Mount Margaret and uh, they're right ahead of us here on the trail. But uh, anyway, we chatted with them for a little bit. Um, there they are. We will check in a couple times on the way down, give you the hiker count as usual. Uh, I have noticed that the clouds are starting to roll in. We've uh, lost the sun here, and it cooled down a bit. And uh, now that we're out of the lake basin, the bugs don't seem as bad. So we'll see how it is on the way down. Uh, supposed to get some bad weather this afternoon, but we'll be done probably here in an hour, hour and 15 minutes. Okay, we'll check in later. So a little over an hour ago on the way up, I took a view, a video right here of Mount Rainier, and you can see how the conditions have changed in an hour. It's clouded up real quick, and uh, we've lost our view. It's uh, in the clouds down there, and uh, not much blue sky as I pan around here. So uh, I think the weatherman's going to be right. It's uh, real humid here, and uh, clouds forming. So I think, uh, boy, hiking early this morning was the right idea. I think we're going to have some thunder showers this afternoon. Anyway, 
we will check in as we head down. Maybe one more time. Uh, there's really not much to see now that Rainier's gone. So I'll check in one final time and give you the hiker count and uh, whatever else is interesting down there. Hey, this is Steve checking in uh, back on the road. Uh, let's see, it's about 10 after 9. Should be at the car before 9.30 here. It's all downhill. Uh, other than the couple with the two from Italy, uh, we just saw three people. And, uh, three dogs. And three dogs, three people with three dogs. <laughs> and uh, they're heading up to Margaret Lake. So we exchanged some uh, trail info with them and uh, warned them about the bugs. But uh, other than that, it's been pretty quiet. It has really clouded over here and uh, consequently it's very humid and muggy. And uh, Gino and I were saying that uh, even coming downhill, you're working up a sweat. So anyway, I think I'm going to sign off here. There's not much to see when we're on this road. Next week, uh, weather looks nice. We're going to go back down to Mount Rainier and venture into the northwest corner of the park to a portion of the park known as Spray Park. And a beautiful area up there and a lot of cool things to see. We did it a few years ago when it was real smoky. And uh, so we'll hope, Gino, that there's no forest fires and yep. smoke. But uh, that's where we're going to go. So until uh, next week, as always, thanks for hiking with us. We'll see you next time. So check this out. We uh, are on I-90 heading down from Snoqualmie Pass, and it's just socked in here. Real foggy. Uh, temperatures dropped at Gino 8 degrees since we left the trailhead. It was 68 when we got back to the car and it's 60. Now it's cleared a bit here, but you can see up above. Real foggy conditions here, so big surprise. Anyway, uh, one last quick update. Right after I stopped filming, we ran, ran into a group of uh, 10 hikers going up. Um, big, uh, big group, so we ended up seeing 15 people today. Anyway, hope you like this one. We'll see you next week.